Okay. Good morning or good afternoon and welcome. Good morning or good afternoon and welcome to the second annual Smithsonian Latino Virtual Museum Dia de los Muertos Festival. My name is Nympha Blackheart and today we are streaming live from El Paso, Texas. We are visiting with artist Cesar Ivan and his Teatro de las Calacas. Cesar, welcome. Hello. Can you, tell, can you tell us a little bit about the Teatro de la Calaca? Yes, my name is Cesar Ivan. I am an artist here in El Paso, Texas. Um, when I was a little kid, I used to go across into Juarez, Mexico, which is right across the border. And um, I, was, I would always see the performers, the marionettes uh, on the street. And much later, when I went to, I was able to backpack across Europe. I saw the uh, performers there as well, the marionette shows, the musicians on the streets. And when I uh, came back, I went back into the streets of uh, Juarez looking for a marionette. But all I could find was real things. So I decided that I thought I could make my own. I'm a, I'm a visual artist. I work in a variety of mediums, metal work, mosaic, painting, computer graphics. So I, I designed my own, and little um, guys have been uh, very uh, instrumental and entertaining. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to let them uh, perform for you now.
was great, Galaka. I bet you are so tired, aren't you? Hmm, I think so. Hey, I have a story too about the market. Would you like to hear it? I think so. Sit down now and rest a little bit, Galaka. There you go. Sit down. Those ovals of yours must be so tired. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to read you a story, a very special story, and it's titled, I Remember Abuelito, A Day of the Dead Story by Janice Levy, illustrated by Loretta Lopez. Are you ready? Yep, I bet you are. After all that dancing, it's the Day of the Dead. It's time to celebrate. We remember our loved ones who have died. I miss Abuelito. He died a few months ago. Tonight, his spirit will visit. How will Abuelito's spirit come, I ask? His spirit will come like a butterfly, Mama said. Quiet and beautiful. What will it be like? You'll see, Mama said. You'll feel him in your heart. It's the day of the dead. It's time to celebrate. Uh, uh, hold on, Kalaka, hold on. There's still more. Mama and I go to the market. There's lots to buy. Pan de muerto, bread of the dead, a woman calls out. I choose a piece that's long and wrinkled like Abuelito's fingers. Calaveras de azúcar, sugar skull, calls a man. He squeezes icing on a sugar skull. A skeleton playing soccer reminds me of Abuelito, too. He liked that game. On the way home, I think about Abuelito, and I played hide-and-seek. Sometimes he couldn't find me. What if Abuelito's spirit gets lost? I ask. No, oh, come, settle down, settle down, settle down, Calaca. His spirit is like the butterfly, Mama said. They come to our town every year. They don't get lost. Abuelito's spirit knows the way, too. It's the day of the dead. Es hora de celebrar. Outside our house, Papa, Tia, and I lay a path of marigold petals for Abuelito's spirit to follow. Tia comes to help decorate the altar. Mama and Tia cook Abuelito's favorite food. I fill a tall glass with atole. Abuelito's favorite drink. What do you like to drink up, Calaca? <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. This is Abuelito playing the guitar when he was your age, Tia said. In the photograph, he looks just like you. I think about the songs Abuelito taught me. If he couldn't remember the words, sometimes he made up new ones. I think you need to sit down, Calaca. It's still not time to dance. What if Abuelito has forgotten about us? I ask. What if his spirit forgets to come? Don't worry, Tia says. This candle will glow. The light will remind Abuelito's spirit of his way back home. I look out the window and watch the clouds. One of them looks just like Abuelito's mustache. Suddenly, I see a wonderful sight. Mama, Papa, Tia, look, it's the butterfly. Hundreds of black and orange butterflies fly through the sky. Some land in the tree next to our house. The butterflies have found their way, I say. I think that Abuelito's spirit will find his way, too. It's the Day of the Dead. It's time to celebrate. At the cemetery, Papa and I sprinkle marigolds. We wave to other families. I lay some, some of Abuelito's favorite things on his grave. Abuelito loves bananas, I say. These are the socks I bought for him his birthday. Remember when he blew out the candles? He sneezed three times and got frosting on his nose. We laugh and then get quiet. The candles look like stars. Is Abuelito thinking about us too, I ask? Does he feel us in his heart? Tia squeezes my hand. Mama puts her arms around me. 
we close our eyes. A breeze tickles my cheek like a sea. The air smells like banana. I look down and see a butterfly resting on a petal near my feet. Abuelito, I whisper, is that you? Mama and Tia laugh. They hug me at the same time. At night, Mama tucks me into bed. Sueña con los angelitos. Sweet dreams, she says. She kisses my cheek. Her eyelashes feel like the wings of a butterfly. The day of the dead. Wow, it's a time to celebrate. I close my eyes and dream of Abuelito. There you go, Calaca. Did you like the story? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Well, guess what? Now it's time to dance again. Ready? Let's go.
Quitando la frontera. Calavera, 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 calavera. So uh, we want to hear a little bit more about uh, how he came to to bring the Teatro de Calaca into being, into life. Um, and Cesar, also, why don't you bring the microphone up a little bit more so that uh, your voice can generate better, if that's okay with you? And of course, this is time to ask questions. If you have, let's go ahead and um, and see if you can hear Cesar first. And uh, a big hello to the School of Maryland, and we are so happy that you're here with us today. Um, hello, School of Maryland. Can you hear Stefan now? Hello. Uh, my name is Stefan Ivan. I'm a visual artist. Hold on. Okay. Did you hear? Okay. We have a question. We have a question, Cesar. Okay. Uh, what does Kalaka mean? Well, Kalaka is just a term for a skeleton, actually. That's what the Kalaka is, and Kalareo, and all skeletons. Okay, good. More questions? Okay, I'm sorry, what was the question? Oh, okay. Let me ask them first. Question is, is that a Latino tradition? Uh, yes. Uh, it's a Latino tradition, yes. The term, or are you talking about the term? Well, I, I don't know. I think they have it in Europe as well. I know they can really talk about that. Uh, yeah. 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 
So, in other words, it is a, it's a, also a European tradition, correct? Yes. Uh, Not just in Mexico, but yeah. In, in, in Latin America? In Europe. Okay. Any more questions? Thank you very much. Um, I, I do have a question for for Cesar. Cesar, can you tell us a little bit of the materials that you use uh, in making the calaca? Um, the materials that I use for these are like, just a variety of different woods. It's not really a specific wood that I use. So I, what I do is I purchase wood and I age it. I give it that rustic look. And as for the ribs, I'm using rusted nails and wire that go through the uh, arms and the legs and then of course the string and uh, pine for the uh, controls so I can control the main movements. And then I paint it, uh, I do like a wash paint with uh, a cedar. Okay. Just, here's a question. Does the skeleton ever go club dancing? <laughs> Uh, well, maybe when I'm asleep, he sneaks out of the house. <laughs> so that I know you mentioned earlier uh, in the introduction how you uh, actually got interested in the galak in the uh, marionette. Can you can you go back and tell us a little bit about that? Yes, when I was a when I was a kid, I, I live in El Paso, Texas, and right across is, is the border with Mexico. And when I was a kid, I used to cross over and go into Juarez. Uh, and I would see the performers out in the street. There's a lot of performers, um, marionettes, people doing uh, music. And much later, when I was, I was a little older, I was able to backpack across Europe. And I saw the same thing in Europe, uh, performers, marionette shows. So when I came back, I I went into uh, the markets in Juarez looking for a marionette, but the only thing I could find was something small. So I decided, since I'm a visual artist, I do metal work, uh, mosaics, I paint, I do computer graphics. I thought, well, I, I, could, I could probably just make my own. So I, I designed my own, and they've been uh, a great little tool. I, I, I make these, I sell these, and I paint them in a variety of colors, and they've been a good, good tool. That's great. That's great. Um, now, I, if you are interested in finding and knowing a little bit more about Cesar Ivan, there is a profile of him on screen one, a, a video that you can see all his work, and uh, he talks about the materials that he uses, the type of art, and uh, and everything that he you know, that he visualizes and how he it comes to, he brings it to life. So um, check out screen one for, for more information on Cesar Ivan. Uh, does anyone else have any more questions? Did you all enjoy the performance? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you so much. And I think if Cesar doesn't have anything else to share with us, we might have to, we will conclude with a final song. How's that, Cesar? How's that, Galaka? Okay, one final song.